Welcome to the 2020 National Honor Society Induction Ceremony. Congratulations, inductees. Your achievements in scholarship, service, leadership, and character are now being recognized. Congratulations, parents, relatives, and friends. Collectively, this group of students has completed an almost insurmountable task in the face of a global pandemic. Through your support, encouragement, and love, we have one of the largest groups of inductees that the Goshen chapter has ever seen. The purpose of the National Honor Society is to create enthusiasm for scholarship, to stimulate a desire to render service, to promote leadership, and to develop character in students of secondary schools. It is a great honor to become a part of this national organization. As a member, you will be expected to maintain all of the qualities of which you have shown yourself capable. I am confident that all of you will live up to the expectations that everyone watching this has for you. Congratulations again, and welcome to NHS. Hi, my name is Amy Quinn. I am one of the advisors of the National Honor Society. In these unprecedented times, I wasn't sure what to expect this year from our students who wanted to become members of the National Honor Society, our members and of our officers. They really have gone above and beyond. I am so grateful for this group of students this year. They were creative with how they completed their volunteer hours. They were volunteering to help Ms. Viscardo and I every step of the way and they really stepped up and to help with this induction ceremony. Our officers this year have been amazing and I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to Talon Clark, our president, Ryan Mistretta, our vice president, Annie Shee, our secretary, and Josh Molshine, our treasurer. I don't know what we would have done without all your help. Now our officers are going to give their speeches on the four pillars of the National Honor Society scholarship, service, character, and leadership. Thank you. The first pillar of the National Honor Society is scholarship. Scholarship is defined by the Merriam-Webster Dictionary as the academic study or achievement or learning of a high level. But to these inductees, scholarship is so much more than that. Scholarship is dedicating yourself to learning. Scholarship is trying to be the best you can be, both academically and outside of school. Scholarship is seeing any opportunity to learn more and taking it. Scholarship is having a true love of learning. All of the inductees honored today have continually demonstrated outstanding academic ability and scholarship, both inside and outside of school. Congratulations and welcome to NHS. The second pillar of National Honor Society is community service. As members of NHS, we realize that service builds character, provides opportunity, and the chance to make the world a better place. Each day, opportunities arise to better our school and community. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without compensation or recognition is a quality we expect our members to uphold as a natural part of their lives. By helping others, we we not only create a better learning environment here in our community, but also reflect a greater service we can provide to the world. Thank you. Character can be many things. It can be having integrity, respect, compassion, and optimism. Or on the other hand, it can be having dishonesty, selfishness, and pessimism. You decide what values you want to portray. Character is not inborn or inherited. They must be learned and believed by the person. And these inductees have all proven their character and gained the confidence of the NHS board. The 
final pillar of the National Honor Society is leadership. Now I could stand here and give you a definition of leadership and tell you why our new members and inductees exemplify it, but I'd rather discuss the nature of being a leader because I truly believe that every NHS member here has the potential to lead. A leader finds difficulty in making decisions because they understand the impact and the consequences of their actions. A leader also doesn't necessarily seek to lead or even use their authority. The greatest of leaders have been those who have delegated their power and have listened to others around them. And lastly, a leader is someone who acts selflessly and always puts the goal and their people before themselves. They do what must be done to reach their target. I believe that every one of you has these qualities, and I am honored to welcome you into Goshen's National Honor Society. Thank you. Dahlia Abad. Dahlia Abad is a junior at Goshen High School who is an amazing student, athlete, singer, and friend. She loves to read, play tennis, swim, listen to music, bake, and play with her cats. Her favorite classes are history and English. Dahlia is also an active volunteer in our community, from helping neighbors and volunteers at the, volunteering at the food pantry to providing free henna at local festivals. Dahlia plans to go to college and become an ENT or an oral surgeon. No matter where life takes her, I know Dahlia will find happiness and success. Written by Katie Crandall. Elizabeth Aguilar Delgado. Elizabeth Aguilar Delgado is one of the most caring and talented people I know. She loves babysitting, painting, and learning new languages. From taking French together, I know Elizabeth is extremely hardworking. Her favorite class is math, and in college she plans to major in accounting. In the future, she hopes to travel around the world and open a business. If she could travel anywhere, she would go to Italy for its language and food. Welcome to NHS, Elizabeth. Can't wait to see all the great things you'll accomplish. Written by Annie Shee. Madison Albanese is a dedicated and passionate student athlete. She participates in both soccer and track and field. On top of her athletics and academics, she is a well-rounded and astonishing citizen who, in her free time, volunteers at the food pantry. Miss Albanese has plans to become an elementary school teacher in the future and also wants to continue her soccer career throughout college. Hopefully, we will see her setting and making goals on the soccer field and educating our youths in the future. Written by Emma Wapsher. Lorraine Aldave. Lorraine has been a close friend of mine for many years. Throughout this time, I've learned many things about her character. She is outgoing, hardworking, intelligent, can give you a good laugh, and she's an amazing friend. She plans to go to college and become a veterinarian in the long run. She loves to give back to the community by volunteering and helping those in need. Her favorite subject is math, and this year she has helped me a lot in pre-calc. Her biggest role model in her life is her dad, who inspires her to always try her best in whatever she does. I know she's going to do amazing things. Good luck this year. Written by Anel Burgos. Chelsea Baez. Chelsea Baez has an enthusiastic and vibrant personality. Chelsea's favorite subject is English because she enjoys creative flexibility. She is not sure what she will do in the future, but she knows she wants to help people. In her free time, Chelsea works to save money for college and maintains a balanced social life. If she could live anywhere in the world, Chelsea would choose New York City because it is where she grew up and it is a great place to meet people from all walks of life. Chelsea likes to give back to the community by donating to several local organizations. I believe Chelsea would be an excellent new addition to National Honor Society. Congratulations on your hard work, Chelsea. Written by Eve Doyle. Matthew Barbarek. Matthew Barbarek is humble, loyal, stubborn, and serious. And he uses all these words to describe one with good character. Being that Matt will be inducted in the next minute or two, he must fit this agenda. With a hard-working and motivated attitude towards it, Matt strives to eventually have a job working with computers, specifically information technology. I feel as though he will have no issue with this goal, as he is already a hard worker, bouncing work, sports, school, and now the National Honor Society. Academics aside, Matt enjoys playing golf, skiing, and spending time with his friends and family. But for tonight, I'm happy to welcome him into such a prestigious group. Camp Shaver. Marcella Barnhorst. Marcy Barnhorst has been one of the kindest souls and is one of the sweetest people ever. Marcy is the kind 
a person that would do anything for her friends. Moreover, she loves animals and the connection you can have with them, and works her at her mom's vet hospital. She also enjoys playing her viola and swimming because of the family-like team and best friends it gives her. Additionally, Marcy is incredibly hardworking and takes numerous AP and honors courses in order to push herself every day as she understands the importance of her ed education. Marcy plans to major in biology and possibly follow a pre-med track as well as follow in her parents' footsteps and attend the University of Notre Dame. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for you. Congratulations on being inducted into the National Honor Society, Marcy. Written by Emma Milley. Krissa Bayak. Krissa is an avid reader, writer, and artist. She takes inspiration from her mom, great-grandmother Rose, Miss Panzer, and Sarah Paulson. Her favorite subject is English and would like to be numerous things in the future, including a journalist, writer, political campaign manager, environmental psychologist, lawyer, and neuropsychologist. At the moment, Carissa spends most of her time leading the young progressives, writing, reading, photography, makeup, drawing, fashion, and spending time with her cats. Congrats, Car Carissa. Written by Hannah Yadu. Bridget Bennis. Bridget Bennis is a junior at Goshen High School who is an amazing person and friend. She is very involved in school and her community. She is an active member in Young Progressives and Odyssey of the Mind. Bridget loves to give back to her community and volunteers at the Goshen Public Library. Her favorite subjects are history, English, and art. She hopes to one day move to San Francisco. Bridget plans to go to college to study government and eventually become a lawyer, specializing in civil rights and the Constitution. Whatever her future holds, I know that Bridget will do amazing things. Written by Katie Crandall. Cassidy Brock. Cassidy Brock is a junior at Goshen High School who's an active member of the Leo Club and the school musical. She also has numerous hobbies such as singing, drawing, writing, reading, and practicing her instruments such as the piano, guitar, and ukulele. Cassidy is an extremely bright student who plans on pursuing a career in the field of psychology as a licensed mental health counselor. I'm so proud of Cassie, and I'm sure she will achieve great things. Written by Abigail Conklin. Jill Brosman. Jill Brosman is an intelligent student athlete. She believes actions speak louder than words, which would explain her volunteering at Unified Basketball, the Food Pantry, and summer basketball slash soccer camps. Miss Brosman values her academics, family, friends, and athletics the most in her life, and honorably is looking for good grades and acceptances into colleges for the future. Hopefully we'll see her studying and making astounding moves on the soccer field in the years to come. Written by Emma Wapsher. Sarah Char. Sarah Char is a diligent student who spends her free time volunteering in her community. During the holiday season, she helps out at the food kitchen and the food pantry. Her goal is to go to college and become successful later in life. In college, she would like to study social work so that she can help children. She also enjoys spending time with friends and traveling. Sarah Char will be a great addition to the National Honor Society. Written by Vivi Lorenzos. Lyric Clark Martin. Lyric is a dedicated student. Her favorite class is history. In her free time, she enjoys reading. After school, Lyric does mock trial and hopes to become an attorney someday for her career. If she could live one in one place, it would be Italy. Congratulations, Lyric, and welcome to the NHS. Craig Connell. I have the great pleasure of inducting my close friend Craig Connell into National Honor Society. I've known Craig for as long as I can remember. We became friends through sports. Craig is a stud athlete who plays and starts for varsity football, basketball, and baseball teams. However, Craig is more than an athlete. Craig is a top tier student and a phenomenal person. Despite Craig's busy academic and athletic schedule, he still makes time for community service. Craig has spent countless hours teaching young kids the game of basketball at the Goshen Rec Center. Craig is thinking about pursuing a career in the medical field to study sports medicine. Craig is a great asset to National Honor Society. Good luck and congrats, Craig. Written by Jake Stack. Caroline DeClark. I've known Caroline for many, many years. It's great to see that a person of her character will be joining us in NHS this year. She's a very fun and smart person. Caroline enjoys volleyball, taking trips to Lake George, and visiting very far colleges. She also goes to Duncan a lot for iced coffee. I hope Caroline is able to pursue her hopes of attending a big university. Good luck in NHS. Written by Joe Cressy. Jake D. 
did you know? Jake is a very bright student who has many different interests. He has a hobby for finding new hobbies. Drawing, longboarding, reading, and learning how to play the piano are just a few of Jake's current passions. He was elected president of Goshen's Green Team as a sophomore, which is his favorite way to give back to the community. Jake one day hopes to travel the world and become successful in whatever he sets his mind to. Written by Sarah Higgins. Jackson Diglio. Jackson is an aspiring student athlete, excelling both in the classroom and on the track. In his free time, he runs track and skis during the winter. He hopes to pursue a career in meteorology and wants to become a Weather Channel weatherman living in Colorado. Jackson's favorite class is AP U.S. History. He enjoys learning about the weather as well as how to predict future forecasts, especially school snow days. After high school, Jackson hopes to continue both his educational and track career in college. Good luck with your future plans and congratulations on your induction to the National Honor Society. Written by Aiden Bridges. Christina Diorio. I've been lucky enough to be on the same track team with Christina Diorio for the last three years and on the same cross country team for the last two. Not only does she run varsity for the school, but she also gives back to the community by helping those around her and participating in local events. English is her favorite subject in school. Her plans for the future include graduating high school, going to college to do something in communications or athletics, like sports media. She also wants to continue to grow outside of high school and learn about those around her. Eventually, she would like to live in Hawaii or maybe the city. Character to Christina means being a genuine person and treating others with respect while staying true to yourself. Christina's three favorite things are her dog, sneakers, and the beach. Written by Megan O'Donnell. Emily Dong. Emily Dong is a hardworking student who loves to give back to her community through volunteering and being kind to others. She would like to pursue a career in the medical field. As you can probably guess, her favorite subject is science, but that does not include physics. During her summer, she spends her time doing academic enrichments, volleyball, and work. Emily's role model are her parents, and she appreciates all the sacrifices they have made for her and her siblings. I've known Emily for some years now, and I can say she's a great friend and very determined when she sets her mind to get something. I know she's going to do great things. Written by Anel Burgos. Anna Duffy. Three words to describe Anna Duffy would be hardworking, caring, and versatile. Not only is Anna a successful student, but also a devoted athlete, musician, and sister. While being a teammate and friend of Anna's, I've seen how dedicated she is to all aspects of life and how kind-hearted she is to others. She gives back to her community through volunteer work at the Goshen Presbyterian Food Pantry and as a camp counselor during the summer. In the future, Anna hopes to achieve good grades and continue to an excellent college to study psychology and find a job she enjoys but can also make a career out of. I'm, ex I'm excited to induct Anna today and I can't wait to see what she achieves in the future. Congratulations, Anna, and welcome to NHS. Sophia Feeney. Sophia Feeney is an eminent and admirable student. She participates in soccer, basketball, and track and field. On top of her athletic accomplishments, she's also a giving and warm-hearted citizen. Miss Feeney, in her free time, volunteers with the Food Pantry and Team Eva, a charity dedicated to her younger sister. Sophia wants to pursue a career in physical slash athletic training and also has plans to travel the world. Hopefully we will see Sophia helping our Olympic athletes in Rio, Paris, or maybe even Tokyo. Written by Emma Wapshire. Anna Fitzgerald. I first met Anna five years ago on the set of a musical being put on in the Oc Theater. We were instant friends as she had to help me through most of the choreography. Anna started dancing at three and has been dancing now for 13 years. I was immediately impressed with her skill and dedication to this sport and form of art. Her favorite subject is math, which will only help her in the future as she plans on studying engineering. Good luck, Anna, and welcome to NHS. Written by Anna Nasser. Isabella Florentino. Isabella Florentino is an extremely creative person who loves to paint and work on personal projects. Her favorite thing to paint is landscapes. She loves to participate and volunteer in community events, especially events of children. Her goal for the future is to enter the business world and work in a stop motion film production. Congratulations on NHS. Written by Jade Kimmel. Arun Foster. Arun is the definition of a stellar student. 
I have known Arun since middle school and I'm constantly impressed with his work ethic and dedication both in and outside of school. Along with competing in cross country and track, he also challenges himself with the most rigorous courses available. He also participates in Science Olympiad, which is where he found his love in computer science. Outside of school, he volunteers for the food pantry and the Goshen Rec Camp. I am proud to call Arun my friend and especially proud to welcome him into NHS. Congratulations. Written by Ryan Mistretta. Kapil Foster. Kapil is a bright and motivated young man who is dedicated to excellence and giving back to his community. In his free time, he participates in Science Olympiad and studies to achieve the goals he puts forth for himself. Kapil strives to get good grades and looks forward to getting into a great college in a big city. In school, his favorite subject is science and he is an exceptional violinist. He spent his last summer volunteering at a local hospital and preparing himself for the SAT. Good luck with your future endeavors and congratulations on your induction to the National Honor Society. Written by Aiden Bridges. Okay. Avery Feiberger. Avery Feiberger is a kind and friendly girl. Being that her favorite subject is science, it makes sense that her career aspirations include working in the medical field. In her free time, Avery volunteers at the food pantry, animal shelters, and at her dance studio. Avery likes to spend her free time at dance or hanging out with friends and family. If she could live anywhere in the world, she would choose to live in Hawaii. She loves the beach and enjoys warm weather. I believe Avery is an excellent new addition to the National Honor Society. Congratulations on your hard work, Avery. Written by Eve Doyle. Grace Gardner. Grace Gardner doesn't have much free time between school and extracurriculars she participates in. Grace plays three varsity sports soccer, lacrosse, and track and field. She also volunteers at the local food pantry and nursing homes. English is her favorite subject. However, in the future, she hopes to become either a nurse or a physical therapist, and she would like to have a nice house and a steady life. Sometime in the future, Grace hopes to live in the city. She likes to spend her summer on the beach and eating ice cream. Her mom is her biggest role model, and her three favorite things are sports, Netflix, and sushi. Written by Megan O'Donnell. Nina Garonski. Nina is a senior who enjoys going to the gym, hanging out with friends, and playing lacrosse. She serves her community by volunteering with the AMOC, a special needs organization. In the future, Nina would like to become a secondary math teacher. She has developed her character and morals thanks to her biggest role model, her mother. Nina is an outstanding friend who cares for everyone around her. We're so excited to welcome her to NHS. Written by Violet McCork. Phoenix Graham. Phoenix Graham is a junior at Goshen High School who has big plans for the future. Phoenix has plans to hopefully go to MIT and become a computer engineer. They want to make cybernetic limbs for people who have lost their limbs with the help of fellow prosthesis. Phoenix is also an avid artist with their primary medium being digital, and they hope to become better at their crafts. I'm sure you'll accomplish amazing things in the future, Phoenix. Written by Abigail Conklin. Daniel Hartley. When I think of Dan Hartley, I think one of a kind. Anytime I see Dan, whether it be in the hallways, on the sports fields, or even at a camp out, he seems to be truly enjoying life and having a good laugh. On top of this, Dan is a true and tested leader. He's currently the senior patrol leader of Boy Scout Troop 63 here in Goshen. In this position, he is in command of nearly 60 scouts and their activities. This is not only a challenge in itself, but has also had its own difficulties due to the recent events of the past year. With his adaptability and versatility, I believe Daniel truly embodies the nature of an NHS member. And it is my pleasure to welcome him to the Society. Written by Talon Clark. William Herlihy. I've had the privilege of knowing Will the last couple of years throughout high school soccer. Will has always impressed me with his dedication to improving himself. Whenever he can, he spends his extra time working hard and getting back at everything he does. Will always works hard especially when no one is watching because that's what character means to him. To be the very best he can be and not when other people are watching him. Congratulations on becoming a member of the National Honor Society. I know you will do great things. Written by Dylan Kane. Kylie Hall. It is an honor to welcome Kylie Hall to National Honor Society here at Goshen High School. Kylie portrays all the qualities of scholarship, leadership, community service, and character of the NHS. I've played volleyball with Kylie, Kylie for many years, and it has been delightful to watch her character grow to be so kind and confident. 
I have volunteered beside her in Interact Club and Leo Club and have seen her passion for helping people in our community. There is no doubt in my mind that Kaya will be a great addition to our group and our community. Written by Caitlin Taylor. Alexis Jakakis. Alexis Jakakis is one of the best co-workers and friends I've had the pleasure of being around. Her determination, quick thinking, and out of this world smarts make her the perfect member of NHS. Alexis and I worked together over the summer at Goshen Rec Day Camp, and her creative games and patience are always things I admire. Alexis plans to go on going to college to become a forensic scientist. Congratulations, Lex. So happy to have you here. Written by Laura Aglio. Victoria Jakakis. Victoria Jakakis is a dedicated student who enjoys helping others in her community. Over the summer, she works at a camp helping children. Her goal is to continue helping children as a teacher. Victoria also spends her free time working on the school yearbook. The yearbook club requires a lot of time and commitment in order to pull it all together. Victoria will be a great addition to the National Honor Society. Written by V.V. Laurentis. Nahal Jangda. Nahal is a loving and optimistic person who loves her family and friends. In her free time, she likes to draw and read. In the future, she hopes to pursue a career in the bio slash medical field as science is her favorite subject. Other than being in the medical field in the future, she also aims to be a better person and help out in any way she possibly can. Nahal is also a promising artist who would love to live in France or England given the chance. Written by Hannah Yadu. Zachary Jessam. Zach is a hardworking, smart, and talented individual. Throughout high school, Zach constantly challenged himself with the most rigorous courses. Along with being a star student, he's also a part of the golf team and World Language Honor Society. Outside of school, Zach volunteers at the library, reads, spends time, and spends time with friends and family. Zach aspires to become a software engineer or go into finance. Congratulations and welcome to NHS. Written by Ryan Mistretta. Ava Callows. Ava Callows takes part in Yearbook Club as an editor, is a class representative in student government, and is the co-president of the Young Republicans Club. In her free time, she enjoys playing with her dogs, listening to music while doing art, like painting or sketching, baking, and binge watching Netflix. Ava hopes to have a career someday, either as an English teacher, because she has always loved writing and has recently come to love reading, or as an architect, because building structure and design fascinate her. Her favorite classes this year are AP Language and Composition, as well as Art. In terms of giving back to the community, Ava volunteers at the food pantry where she helps organize and distribute food. Her role models are her parents because they inspire her to work hard and achieve her goals and dreams in life. Ava's goals for the future are to graduate high school, go to college, get a job that makes her happy, find an apartment to live in, and live every day like it is her last. Welcome to NHS, Ava. Written by Katie DeFusta. Maria Kelly. Maria Kelly is a remarkable honor student here at Goshen High School and will be an exceptional contribution to the National Honor Society. Maria is an exceedingly talented student athlete who always finds a way to give back to her community. She volunteers at nursing homes, child daycares, and offers her help at events for those in need. In her free time, Maria enjoys running, playing the violin, drawing, and reading. She is also a dedicated member of the cross country and track team. After high school, she plans on going to college and getting her doctorate. She is interested in pursuing a career in the medical field. Her kind heart and compassion for others make her a perfect candidate for this job. One day, she plans on moving somewhere warm and preferably in the South. Congratulations, Maria, and welcome to NHS. Written by Madison Tondini. Emily Kendrick. Emily Kendrick is one of the most hardworking people that someone could meet. She is incredibly dedicated to doing well in school and swimming, always setting high expectations for herself. Not only is Emily a good student, but also a great friend, as she is incredibly caring and is always willing to do anything for the people around her. Moreover, she loves to volunteer at the food pantry because she loves to give back to people who are less fortunate and Winslow Therapeutic Riding Center because she loves the feeling of making people with special needs feel like they can accomplish anything. Additionally, Emily has a love for writing and is considering a career in journalism. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for you. Congratulations on being inducted into the National Honor Society, Emily. Written by Emma Melly. Nawal Khan. 
Noelle is an intelligent individual who spends her free time reading and trying out new recipes. Her interests include playing the violin, running, her cat, and a matcha latte. Noelle's inspiration is due to the hard work her parents and her sister have devoted to accomplishing their goals. To give back to the community, Noelle volunteers at her local mosque and the food pantry. Additionally, over the summer, she took the opportunity to travel to a tutoring pro program which benefited her significantly. Noelle's goals for the future are to live a happy life and travel as much as she can. Noelle's favorite subject is biology, and in the future she would like to become a car cardiothoracic surgeon. Congratulations, Noelle, on your induction to NHS. Written by Brianna Van Steenberg. Emily Kim. Emily Kim loves to help out her community by performing tasks that others are in need of, some of which include tutoring, playing music, or interpreting. These tasks go hand in hand with some of her favorite things to do, dancing and listening to music. In addition to helping out her community, Emily is also an adventurous dreamer and she wishes to hopefully one day live in South Korea because of their beautiful culture, amazing food, and the integration of nature in everyday life. Although she is not quite sure what career path to follow just yet, Emily will go on to do great things. Congratulations on being inducted into the National Honor Society. Written by Alexandria Barnes. Jacob Kreine. Where does one even begin to describe Jake Kreine? With his athleticism on the school soccer, ski, and lacrosse teams? With his love of the outdoors? Or even with his passion to give back to others in any way he can? There are just too many places to possibly begin. Yet, if there's anything I've learned about Jake over the past few years, it's the level of his commitment and care. Jake seems to truly give his time and efforts into everything he opts to do while also raising the spirits of those around him. And this is why I'm grateful to welcome such an epic student like Jake to the National Honor Society. Congratulations, and sorry ladies, he's taken. Written by Talon Clark. Ava Kunis. Ava Kunis is an intelligent, driven, and positive new member of the National Honor Society. Ava has plans to continue her education at the University of Miami, located near a business-driven city and unbelievable beaches. Ava's favorite class in high school have been entrepreneurship, American law, and physics. Her future goals are to open her own business and be her own boss. She loves the idea of controlling her own destiny based on how hard she works. Ava contributes to our community by volunteering with Leo Club and working at one of the Goshen's local businesses. Ava's kind-hearted character and determination makes her a member that we are honored, so honored to have. Congratulations, Ava, and welcome. Written by Lexi Syracuse. Carly Larson. Carly Larson is an extremely accomplished student. From volunteering at the food pantry to participating in three varsity sports, she dedicates a lot to the Goshen community. After high school, she will continue to play lacrosse and has an interest in pursuing a career pertaining to political science or law. Her compassion towards others and her drives for success is, in, is inspiring. I am lucky to call her a teammate as well as a friend and I know she'll make a perfect addition to Goshen's National Honor Society. Written by Holly Pekorek. Courtney Lewis. Courtney Lewis, when asked to define character, describes it as the way a person treats other people. Courtney learned how to treat other people from her role models, her parents. From them, she learned how to do the right thing, how to help others, and to remind yourself to do something good for the sake of doing it, rather than just for the credit. She takes those messages to heart in hopes to continue to help people by becoming a future pharmacist. In addition to becoming a pharmacist in the future, Courtney also wishes to live in Florida because of the beautiful warm weather and nearby beach, as well as own a Tesla. Can't wait to see what the future holds for you, Courtney. Good luck and congratulations on being inducted into the National Honor Society. Written by Alexandria Barnes. Lauren Lingerman. In Lauren's free time, she likes to go to sports practice, go to the gym, hang out with friends, and go on walks. If Lauren could live in one place, it would be Clearwater, Florida, since she loves the warm weather and the beach. In school, Lauren's favorite subject is math, and hopes to be a nurse practitioner one day in the future. Along with being a good student, outside of school, she likes to give back to the community by volunteering at the food pantry and being an assistant coach for youth lacrosse. Lauren's role model is her mom. Lauren spends her summer swimming, hiking, spending time with friends and family, doing summer work, and babysitting. Her goal for the future are to have a profession in the medical field, attending a good college, and maintain honor roll. 
What character needs to learn is having integrity, being honest, and doing the right thing when nobody's watching. Written by Sarah Tippin. Elijah Lopez. Elijah is a very passionate individual. When it comes to writing, he is determined on pursuing his goals, hoping to influence others with his words. Elijah doesn't think short term. The small things and details Elijah focuses on are what drives his long term goals. Congratulations on getting inducted. Written by Kevin Palma. Christopher Martin. I've been friends with Chris since first grade, and let me be the first to say, he's one of the most polite guys out there. Chris is a good baseball player on our school's varsity team, and we look to see him implement his leadership on the team into NHS. Chris loves math and problem solving, which will serve him well in his civil engineering career. He's very fond of his family and friends, and doesn't fail to mention how big of a help they've been to him. Welcome to the NHS, Chris. Written by Joe Cressy. Raquel Martinez. Raquel Martinez is an excellent student and enjoys being an active participant in her community. The many ways she likes to give back is by participating in the local food drive and volunteering at some of the local churches. Raquel has a fondness for the cosmetology program at SeaTech, where she is able to express herself artistically. Raquel is an avid artist and loves to paint, run, and watch movies. During her free time, she enjoys learning new things that will help her educationally. Raquel likes to seek volunteer opportunities and spend time with family and friends. She's very family oriented, where her mother is her role model because she taught Raquel to be kind and show love to others who have treated her unfairly. Raquel's goal for the future is to graduate college and help younger generations. As a career, she wants to be an elementary math teacher. Raquel's characteristics will make her an outstanding member of the National Honor Society. Written by Eva Grana. Ariana McCarthy. Ariana is an avid gymnast, track athlete, and author. She recently published her first poetry book, You Look Good in Blue. Ariana spends her time encouraging reading throughout the community, as well as volunteering at the local food pantry. She is driven and motivated to give everything her all. Ariana, we are so happy to welcome you into NHS and cannot wait to see how you will develop within this organization. Written by Violet Bacoric. Elizabeth Miguel. Some things you should know about Elizabeth. She loves to read, she has a fish, and her love for Harry Styles is like no other. Beyond that, Elizabeth loves to spend time with her family, a very valuable trait for this past year, and friends. She excels in science and instinctively would like to pursue a career in psychology. Congratulations on your induction and good luck to the road ahead of you. Written by Lauren Hankler. Juliana McGovern. Juliana McGovern enjoys her free time painting, playing softball, and spending time with her friends. After school, she would go to the Goshen Food Pantry and hand out food to help those in the local community. Just one of the reasons she is so valuable to the National Honor Society. Juliana aspires to become a therapist after she graduates from college hoping to have a successful career helping others. Congratulations, Juliana. Welcome to the National Honor Society. Written by Megan Messina. Anthony Memlar. I'm excited to introduce AJ Memlar into the National Honor Society. AJ is a great kid and a terrific student. AJ is very talented in woodworking, and during quarantine, he built an Adirondack chair, which parlayed into other woodworking projects. AJ's possible aspiration is to work in education. He excels in U.S. history, which happens to be his favorite subject in school. AJ has a strong faith in God, taking time to volunteer at his local church and teach Sunday school. AJ's role models are his grandfather and the great Tim Tebow because of their faith and trust in God. AJ is going to be a great asset to the National Honor Society. He puts his faith and family first, which I know will lead him to a successful future. Congrats and good luck, AJ. Written by Jake Stack. Victoria Mercik. Victoria spends most of her free time training for cheer, a large passion of hers. She has devoted summers as well as countless weekends and afternoons perfecting her craft. Beyond her love for cheer, Victoria has an ardent love for science. Naturally, she hopes to enroll in a top medical school and pursue her dreams of becoming a pediatrician. In addition to helping children, Victoria volunteers at animal shelters. She plans to continue giving back to her community through similar ways and more. Written by Lauren Hankler. Alex Mistretta. Alex Mistretta is the definition of an exemplary student. 
Along with taking some of the most challenging courses, he also participates in cross country, ski team, and track. Not only is he a student athlete, but he also participates in Science Olympiad, where he's found a love of science and volunteers in his free time. In the future, Alex plans to focus on computer science or biology in college and hopes to one day become a doctor. Congratulations and welcome to NHS. Written by Eric Pinos. Catherine Moody. Catherine is a wonderful person to surround yourself with and a very hard worker. She dedicates most of her time outside of school playing basketball and softball. Catherine has given back to her community through being a volunteer camp counselor over the past few years. She has also been involved with volunteer work at the YMCA to give back to kids in their community. In the future, Catherine's goal is to earn a master's degree and become an early childhood teacher. One of Catherine's biggest role models include her parents who have taught her to be successful and motivated. Lastly, Catherine believes that a good character includes having the ability to do what is right even when no one is watching and taking pride in who you are as a person, which is a great characteristic to have, which is exactly needed to be a part of NHS. Congratulations, Catherine, and welcome to National Honor Society. Written by Megan Amonte. Isabella Obligata. Bella Obligata is a junior at Goshen High School who has already left a remarkable impact on the world and everyone around her. An advocate for type 1 diabetes awareness, Bella plays softball, does TED Talks, and plays with her dog Marley in her spare time. She is also a music lover, playing guitar, starring in musicals, and singing with the Varsity Choir. She loves the idea of living in New York City and plans on one day becoming a pediatric endocrinologist. Congratulations on all your achievements, Bella. I know you are going to do more amazing things. Written by Madeline Bunzu. Katie O'Riordan. We are here to honor our honorable candidates, one being Katie O'Riordan. Like many young teens, one of her favorite shows is Grey's Anatomy. Following Dr. Addison Forbes Montgomery, she plans on majoring in neonatology. She has a great respect for those who work in the front line and thanks them for inspiring her to pursue a career in medicine. She spends her time volunteering at the food pantry, thrift shop, and hospital. After finishing her major, she hopes to move to Washington or California and continue working while hoping to become a mother herself later down the road. I am pleased to welcome her into the National Honor Society and look forward to seeing her great success in the medical field. Best of luck this year. Written by Brianna Sanchez. Jason Rizal. I first met Jay last year on the set of Beauty and Beast, Goshen's Musical. Jay has a natural talent for this art and is an incredibly talented leader. Jay plans on becoming a special education teacher and earth science is his favorite subject. He is heavily involved with the Orange County Thunderbolts swim team outside school and organize, organization for those with special needs. Along with being involved with the musical, Jay plays in three orchestras and bands. In these groups, he plays cello, bass, and guitar. Good luck, Jay, and welcome to NHS. Written by Anna Nasser. Isabella Panetto. Issa Panetto is an amazing person who participates in many activities, both in school and out of school. She runs varsity cross country and track. When she's not running, Issa is a very musical person who is always singing. She plays the violin, ukulele, and guitar. In her free time, she writes songs. In her future, she hopes to become a microbiologist. Congrats on NHS. Written by Jade Kimmel. Lilbeth Paulzak. Lily is an incredibly hard worker and strives to do her best when she is needed. Since the age of five, Lily has dedicated most of her time to cheerleading, as well as being a part of the chamber orchestra since sixth grade. Outside of school, Lily enjoys volunteering to give back to her community. Some people she looks up to as role models are her friends and family. Lily's future goals include having a happy family and being successful with her career, in which she aspires to become a physician's assistant, where I know she will do great things. Lastly, Lily believes that character is how you treat others around you and yourself, which is a great trait to have, and this is exactly the type of mindset needed to be a part of NHS. I'm so excited for you to be in addition to NHS. Congratulations and welcome Lily. Written by Megan Amante. Dana Poppy. Dana Poppy is one of the most fervent of young women. She leads her life in duality, possessing a contagious, light-hearted spirit whilst holding all of her endeavors in the highest regard of dedication and respect. Watching her grow into herself over the past 13 years has truly been an incredible thing to witness. Through darkness and in light, she has remained vibrant. 
She's loyal, compassionate, driven, and brilliant, brilliantly independent. When she makes a decision, there is no swaying her. She knows what she wants and works hard to attain just that. Dana is truly the best of friends, and I know she will be exceptional as a member of National Honor Society. Written by Rebecca Serena. Andrew Rampula. Andrew Rampula, the man of many trades. He is an Olympian, winning gold, silver, and bronze in every extracurricular. From track and field to even science Olympiad in his early high school years, he is a government official voted into the presidency of the 11th grade. And he truly is a man of the people, striving to create an equal opportunity for everyone with his future entrepreneurship. From one who has known Mr. Rampula for years, I can state that no matter what life hurls at him, he will accomplish anything he sets his mind to. And that is why I am proud to recognize him as a member of Goshen's National Honor Society. Written by Alec Bauer. Lauren Rivera. Lauren Rivera is an avid student who has plans to go to college for an undergraduate degree in biology and then become a physician's assistant. Over the summer, she gives back to her community by going on mission trips. As a member of the St. Paul's Youth Group, Lauren is able to help local camps and churches. She will be a great addition to the National Honor Society. Written by Angeliki Laurentis. Rhett Sanders. I've had the privilege of knowing Brett for the last five years through travel and high school soccer. Brett will be an excellent member of the National Honor Society because he exemplifies all the characteristics of the National Honor Society. On every team we've been on, Brett was always one of the players who would step up and be a leader on the team. Brett was also always one of the hardest working players on the team, and that's what has always stood out to me about him. Welcome to the National Honor Society. I know you'll do great things. Written by Dylan Kane. Daniela Scanlon. Daniela is a creative individual who spends her free time playing video games and drawing. If she isn't volunteering at the library, she enjoys listening to the Beatles, spending time with her friends, foreign languages, and food. To Daniela, her parents are her role models due to the hard work they have done to give her a privileged life. Additionally, Daniela views character based on one's energy they have in their personality. In the future, Daniela would like to have a stable job so she can relax in her free time and be an allergist. Congratulations, Daniela, on getting inducted into NHS. Written by Brianna Van Steenberg. Madison Chaff. In Madison's free time, she likes to run, paint, listen to music, and is an avid reader. If she could live in one place, it would be New York because of the changing seasons. Madison's favorite subject is math and would like to be an astronaut and work in astrophysics as a future career. In addition to being a good student outside of school, Madison gives back to the community by volunteering at the library and recycling. Madison's role model is Christina Koch. Madison likes to spend her summer at the lake house in Bear Mountain, hanging out with her friends. Her goal for the future are to, is to work at NASA and to help future space exploration. What character means to Madison is to be able to stick up for yourself and people around you, whether they are a friend or not. Furthermore, to have character, one must be willing to put others before themselves and be able to show compassion and understanding towards anyone. Written by Sarah Tippin. Rachel Seo. Rachel Seo is incredibly talented. Her gift in playing violin is truly remarkable and she loves sharing her music at senior citizen homes. She is a true joy to be around and her smile is contagious. What character means to Rachel is being open-minded and understanding of others while recognizing and owning up to her faults and actively seeking ways to improve herself. In the future, Rachel hopes to pursue a career in medicine while enjoying the bustling atmosphere of northeastern cities like NYC or Boston. Congrats, Rachel, on making it into NHS. Can't wait to see the, the successful path planned ahead of you. Written by Annie Shee. Emily Smith. As we honor our incoming student, I'd like to talk a little bit about Emily Smith. Although she is unsure about what she wants to major in, she looks forward to going to a good college and working a stable job. She does have some majors in mind, but she is yet to decide. Her biggest role model is her mother. She thanks her mother for always being there for her and for being her best friend. As an active girl, during her free time, she likes dancing, spending time with her friend, and watching Netflix. She also volunteers at the food pantry, animal shelters, and other organizations. I am pleased to welcome her into the National Honor Society and look forward to seeing her great success in whatever she chooses to study later on. Best of luck this year. Written by Brianna Sanchez. Aiden Stone. 
Aiden Staunton is a good kid. The way he maneuvers around the tennis court is completely breathtaking. He may not be as good as me, but I can definitely see the potential that's there. However, being a good tennis player isn't what defines him. He loves giving back to the community in any way possible. He does so by utilizing his tennis skills to help train new incoming tennis players. Written by Eric Pinos. Reagan Sullivan. Reagan Sullivan is an exceptional honor student here at Goshen High School and will be an ex and will be an excellent contribution to the National Honor Society. Reagan is an exceedingly talented student athlete who frequently gives back to her community. She volunteers her time at the local animal shelters and food pantry. Along with volunteering, Reagan is also an avid athlete who is a dedicated member of the track team. In her free time, she enjoys running and spending time with her friends. After school, she plans on going to college and pursuing a career in either finance or accounting. With her work ethic and great determination, she is a perfect candidate for this career in this field. Congratulations, Reagan, and welcome to NHS. Written by Madison Tondini. Christopher Swift. Chris is someone who enjoys spending time with those closest to him. When he isn't around his friends, he enjoys being around other people, and thus he enjoys helping out the community in his free time. He watches sports considering he, he himself is an athlete. Most importantly, Chris is a respectful person who knows the importance of character. He views his father as a role model and aspires to be a pediatrician. Congratulations on getting inducted. Written by Kevin Palma. Natalia Vasquez. It is an honor to welcome Natalia into the National Honor Society here at Goshen High School. Natalia has amazing character, strong leadership skills, exceptional scholarship, and is an active participant in community service. I have played softball along Natalia since Little League, and she has always been so kind and passionate. There is no doubt that she should be a great addition to our group and our community. Written by Caitlin Taylor. Cameron Walsh. Cameron Walsh is a dedicated, well-rounded, and accomplished student. While she excels in her studies, including her favorites, math and Spanish, Cameron also succeeds in her extracurriculars, such as lacrosse, student government, and internship. She also gives back to the community by volunteering at the food pantry, helping with fundraisers, and completing other volunteer work around town. Cameron's inspiration and role models is her mom because she spent her life working for nonprofit organizations and then continued to care for her and her siblings. Using this inspiration, Cameron plans to continue through high school and college and hopes to become a forensic psychologist or profiler. During the past eight years of friendship with Cameron, I've seen how hardworking, dedicated, and caring she is and how she will be a valuable asset to the National Honor Society and to Goshen High School. I couldn't be more proud to induct her today. Congratulations, Cameron, and welcome to NHS. Ashley Williams. Ashley Williams is an exceptionally motivated and hardworking student. She's on the track team and is the goalie for the girls' varsity soccer team. Her love for the community is very apparent, and she often volunteers at the food pantry and coaches younger kids in soccer. She has an interest in becoming a teacher or a lawyer and is excited for her future. Ashley is extremely caring and will go out of her way to help those around her. I am proud to know her on and off the soccer field, and I cannot wait to see what she accomplishes in Goshen's National Honor Society. Written by Holly Bacoric. Ryan Zerilli. Student by day, superhuman by night. One can see that Ryan excels in all subjects, including his favorite, math. He can also be observed fulfilling his passion for baseball, but when you blink, his money strikes. Ryan Zerilli is no Batman, Iron Man, or Superman, and he does not spread justice throughout the streets of Goshen. Rather, he's a part of, our, of the VIP group that spreads kindness throughout the halls of GHS, day in and day out without appreciations or bravo. Let us recognize his acceptance into Goshen High School's esteemed National Honor Society, and at last give him a long overdue recognition. Written by Alec Bauer. Thank you everyone for joining us in celebrating the achievements of our newest members. We are confident that the dedication that they have evinced will continue in the upcoming years. We look forward to the service that they will continue to provide to our school community, to our global community, 
and most importantly, to the Goshen community. Thank you so much in joining us in our virtual celebration.